Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Tanisha, with Tea Cooks with Flav. Today we're in the kitchen and we are gonna be making some escovish fish. Stay tuned. Welcome back and let's get started. I already have everything pre-prepped. I've already cleaned uh, my fish with lemon. All right, and um, I have my onions, pepper, and some pimento seeds that we're gonna be using for the escovy sauce. So let's do that first, okay? I'm gonna be using some vinegar. Now, as you notice here, I already have my onions chopped. I have my peppers, my scotch bonnet pepper already sliced, and I have a few pimento seeds. What we're gonna do is pour this vinegar in the mix. Now, if you have a mason jar, uh, that would be, you know, ideal. Because that way you can close the lid. But I broke mine, so. You're just going to pour that on top of your uh, onions and pepper that you have here. Let me just do this. And then you're going to leave this, and you also want to use a little salt, maybe like a half a teaspoon, just a, a dash of salt. Now you want to cover this and you want to leave that to do its thing for at least an hour before you put it on the fish. So this is the first step that you want to do. You can also make this overnight. That's totally fine. Once you have a jar that you can close it, you can use it. If you love pepper like I do, you'll have a jar of that just sitting to the side. All right. So we're going to cover this and then we're going to focus on the fish. Okay. So once your SOV sauce is done, you can set that to the side and then you want to start working on your fish. Now for the fish, it's very, very simple. Guys, today I'm using the parrot fish, um, all right? You can use whatever fish that you want. Not every fish is good for frying, but you can use um, snapper, red snapper, yellow snapper, kingfish. I just find that this parrot fish, I just love the way how it, how it fries. I love the taste of it. So this is what I, is my go-to whenever I'm making this type of fish, all right? so. I have my little knife here now as i mentioned before my fish is already clean um, with some lemon juice i pat dried it because remember we're gonna fry it so you do not want that oil pop-up business going on so everything is pretty much clean okay i'm gonna go ahead and make some small two small incisions here i'm gonna flip it over and repeat the process. Oops, I found a scale. <clears throat> so if you see, I just made two small incisions there. Same for here. And then in my, in my little cup here, I have uh, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of uh, my Maggie fish seeds, and a teaspoon of black pepper. And I just combine it all together. It's just a little bit easier for me. So I'm gonna evenly distribute. I'm gonna open these incisions and get some of that seasoning in there. You wanna also get inside of it. And then flip it over and just repeat the process. Even though they clean the fish, there are times when I find 
uh, little scales and I just picked them off. There's a lot that was on there when I cleaned the fish. So this is pretty much ready to go in the oil. So your, once your dry rub is on, you kind of finesse it a little bit, get it all in there, make sure it's evenly distributed right across your fish. It will get a little bit messy, but that's fine. Our fish is pretty much ready to be fried. I have a scotch bonnet pepper here and some garlic uh, that I crush, like five cloves of garlic. I'm gonna throw that into the oil. Well, not throw. I'm gonna nicely put it in the oil so it doesn't splash on me um, to get the oil flavor before I go ahead and put the fish in. All right, we are ready to get down to business. Let's do this. This part is optional. I do it because it gives my uh, fish extra flavor. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I really do appreciate you. And I hope that I see you in my next video. Also, I want to thank you all for tuning in to my travel vlog, which is called Tease Timeline. I do have some more exciting trips coming up. I can't wait to share all of that with you guys. Thank you again for your support. If you have not yet subscribed to my travel channel, please go ahead and do so now. I'll drop the link in my description box. Thanks again, guys, for all, all of your support. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.